Hello everyone. In this section, we discuss about gram width orthogonalization procedure GSOP. To proceed with the formulation of this procedure, suppose we have a set of M energy signals denoted by S1 of T, S2 of T, and up to S M of T. Starting with S1 of T chosen from this set arbitrarily, the first basic function, the first basis function is defined by phi1 of t which is equals to s1 of t divided by square root of e1 where e1 is the energy of the signal s1 of t so it is clear that s1 of t with respect to the the basis function it is a square root of energy of s1 of t multiplied with phi1 of t so the energy of s1 of t will be the coefficient s11 so as illustrated okay, the coefficient s11 is nothing but square root of e1 and phi1 of t as unit energy as required. Next, using the signal S2 of t, we define the coefficient S21 as. So, S21 is equal to integration 0 to time period t, S2 of t into phi1 of t dt. We may thus introduce a new intermediate function which is given by g2 of t is equal to s2 of t minus the coefficient s21 into phi1 of t let me denote this equation as 2 point i i and 2 point i is Two point i is phi one of t and two point i i is g two of t an intermediate function which is orthogonal to phi one of t over the interval zero to t by virtue of the definition of coefficient s two one and the fact that the basis function phi1 of t has unit energy now we are ready to define the second basis function as phi2 of t is equals to the intermediate function g2 of t divided by its energy the energy of g2 of t is given by square root of 0 to t integration 0 to t g2 of t square dt let me label this one as 2.3 continuing the procedure in this fashion we may in general define the intermediate function for i theta is given by g i of t is equals to si of t minus summation of j equal to equals to 1 up to i minus 1 s i j into phi j of t where j varies from 1 to up to i minus 1 so let me note this equation as 2.4 where the coefficients s i j are themselves defined by s i j 
equals to 0 integration 0 to t si of t phi j of t into dt. Note down j is equals to 1 to up to i minus 1. For i equal equals to 1, the function g i of t reduced to s i of t. Given the g i of t, we may now define the set of basis functions which is given by phi i of t is equal to g i of t divided by square root of integration of 0 to t g i t whole square into dt where j ranges from 1 to up to n. So let's denote this equation as 2.5. So this is the GSOP for the set of basis function. Which form an orthogonal set. The dimension n is less than or equal to the number of given signals m, depending on one of two possibilities. The case n is equal to m, the signals s1, s2, up to sm for a linearly independent set. For n less than m, the signals s1, s2, up to sm are not linearly independent. The intermediate function gi of t is 0 for i greater than n k. So, this gram smith orthogonalization procedure is useful to get set of basis functions for given m area of signals. So, this ends GSOP concept. Next, we are going to discuss about some problems on Gram-Smith orthogonalization procedure. Thank you.